Welcome to the 2011 Subaru Outback, the fourth generation of Subaru Outback. So this has uh, been one of our most successful models since since Subaru's been around. The uh, 1996 was the first gen generation of the Outbacks, and we've since had three other generations of Outbacks since then. And last year, when this model was introduced, they made the car with a higher stance, more ground clearance than it's ever had. It's got 9.7 inches of ground clearance now, 8.7 inches of ground clearance. I mean, and this also is the most quietest ride that it's ever ever had, and the most comfortable seat. So there's lots of things I want to show you in a short, just a short amount of time. And uh, there's lots of awards, as you see right here, Motor Trends SUV of the Year when it was introduced last year. And uh, there's a lot of reasons for that, and I'm just going to go around this quickly for you and, and, and point out some of the new things for those super owners now that can appreciate. We'll start right here in the front. The, uh, the premium package right here shows a power seat. You can get a manual seat uh, that is available. It has a lot of adjustments up and down, and also the uh, power seat. We'll add a lumbar so for those people that need a little more lumbar. This is a feature that you may appreciate, especially for long trips. That'll keep your your back from getting a little tired. Uh, also has the uh, all-weather package in this, which we put on most of our vehicles. It is technically an option, but uh, good luck finding one without without one in the Northwest because people really appreciate their heated seats in their outbacks. So they like to ski, go up camping, and, and things like that. All weather package also gives you side mirror, defrost, and windshield wiper de-icers. Now, I'm 6'4", and uh, I have an e easy amount of time to get in here. Somebody wanted to uh, you know, get real comfortable in this car. This has tilting and telescoping steering wheel. So there's uh, Subaru owners that have some of the other generations of Outbacks. They, didn't, they wouldn't have this, uh, this tilt and telescoping function now too. And all models they put the the hand controls for the stereo right the, mounted on the steering wheel. They moved the uh, the cruise control from the behind to the front position of the steering wheel. A little more uh, access, it's easier to get to. Now you may be looking at these paddles and wondering what these are. That's part of the, the, the transmission shifting. You can shift when you put it in the manual mode here up or down on your command and uh, and it gives you a little more flexibility and, and freedom to, um, you know, if you're towing a boat or, or maybe you're coming down a steep hill and you don't want to work your brakes as much, you can just start paddle shifting down to some lower gears and uh, get taking more control of the, of the vehicle. Now, these seats are wider, they're more comfortable, they've got more cushion than they've ever had. The um, parking brake was removed from this area of the car. They've actually moved it over to the, the front dash here, because so it was just a push of a button that will set your parking brake for you and it displays up here and right there so people are wondering well oh gosh I might forget that that I even have it set it does show brake right there but the second you start the car have your seat belt on and you hit your accelerator it takes a parking brake off for you so you're not going to be going down the road accidentally and some of these other manual type of parking brakes and accidentally uh, leave it on which actually decreases your gas mileage quite a bit <laughs> The uh, Traction control, the vehicle dynamic, dynamics control system, that's something new they've added and incorporated all the Subarus a few years ago. And uh, the older generation Outbacks uh, back in 02, they only put it on the, uh, the fully loaded six cylinders. Now this is a safety feature that in the event that you are coming around a corner and uh, maybe you're starting, maybe all the, your wheels don't have full traction and you're sliding on ice. It may break those inside wheels and pull you back over in the, in the lane and keep you from uh, going off the road, which is an important th safety feature. They put that on all Subarus now. All Subaru Outbacks and all cars and all the Subaru makes in general also have the side air curtains, which is uh, it's a, it's a big deal because uh, it's a, an airbag that goes straight down from the headliner and gives you a a cushion between glass and metal and your head. And of course it has the side airbags, but this air air curtain is both for the front and the back passengers so have that benefit there too. Now I just got myself all, all comfortable in that front seat and I want to show you how much legroom I still have after I had my seat comfortable. I've got I've got lots of breathing room and like I said the 
the car is bigger before, but it's it's not. It's just it just has a big feel on the inside, and has a center armrest built in the into the seat here, and the, both seats of these can move independently on how you want to recline or sit more straight up and down. And also I want to show you the roof racks. They're integrated into the car now. So you, the crossbars used to have to adjust them or take them off or maybe you didn't want to hear that wind noise going down the road. This is always uh, always on the car and it's uh, something you can sit on top of the car. It's got a little rubberized thing to keep you from scratching the top of your car up. Great, 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 just a few seconds, you've got your crossbars on the on the vehicle, and they have little noise diffusers that'll keep that quiet when you do have them up there. Now let's go to the front of the car. A lot of the core technology that's always been there is still there. The horizontally post pistons, 2.5 liter that they introduced back in technically 1995, is is. Uh, still something they, they use on the vehicles because it's been such a reliable motor. The uh, car is now up to 170 horsepower out of this four-cylinder motor. When they first introduced it, it was 155. And you know, the gas mileage has also gone up. With more horsepower, the larger vehicle, you ask yourself, well, how, how can that be? It's the transmission. It uses a six-speed CVT transmission, and that is uh, it's not your traditional four-speed transmission where a lot of customers may have had before in the past. And um, the benefit for you, for you on that is that you're not going to have that loss of uh, RPMs going down between your gear shifts. And it's just continuously gaining more power. It's, it's going to have that, uh, that shift through there. Um, 105,000 mile timing belt located right here in the front. So your, your maintenance is less on these than they, they were initially when they first came out with the Subaru. It used to be over 60,000 miles. The um, car is integrated with four channel anti lock brakes uh, along with emergency braking distribution. So your top technology in and braking system, disc brakes all the way around, what, what that does for you. So if you, if you do have to stop quickly, you're going to have the most uh, power to the, to the wheels to keep you going straight. So, so it might be the tendency for the car to, to you know, like throw all the power to the front. So it's, you know, the tendency for the brakes just to give you the power to the front while the, while the back may fishtail or something like that. This keeps you straight with the ABS system and the emergency braking distribution. Cargo room with the wider car has, has widened out. And they've got the cargo cover accessory uh, standard on their premium package. They have the mat back here, so if you're loading in, in the, your your gear and your camping gear, or going to the store and you get plants and you're worried about getting your carpet dirty, that is uh, going to be back there to uh, make, make the car a little more versatile and, and uh, keep it nicer for years to come. Now, whether you're getting the the tan interior like this one has or the charcoal gray interior, they've they've got smart in the sense you could, that they're they're putting the black car carpeted area for the feet and the back cargo area to keep it uh, looking nice for years to come. So it's that light lighter color is going to show the dirt a little bit more. So this will make the car look nicer for years to come. Excellent, Bob. So how long have you been selling Subarus? I uh, started selling Subarus back in 1996. It's a long time. Yes. Is this the nicest one you've seen? Oh, yes. Nicest Outback? Yeah. Nicest, yeah. yeah. And, Such and, a great response for people that are upgrading from you know, their other Subarus because they love the Subarus. And they just, I mean, it's, they've, they've kept a lot of things simple, but they've also added a lot of new technology to, uh, to, um, to the cars that... Um, people got to have for their safety, their families. Um, cool. Thank you so much, Bob. All right. Bye.